Join me today as I try out the prototype for the Octagon and Square Tack It Easy template and gadget set. We've got the Octagon 1 inch measurement from point to point, Octagon acrylic template and the Tack It Easy gadget. We've also got a square 1 inch from corner to corner of the acrylic template and the Tack It Easy gadget. So these go together to make a beautiful pattern and with the squares sitting on, on point in the corner or it can be turned so that they are square on the edge. We've also got some papers here so that I can try it out. Now I've picked a selection of fabrics that have floral prints. So I'm just going to fussy cut lots of uh, floral fabrics and prints out, put them together to uh, make a bit of a cottage garden themed quilt. So we'll start by cutting out the octagons. Yeah, I'm going to use a mini rotary cutter. You can also draw with a pen. I've just got a Frixon pen here and cut them out with scissors if you like. So let's get started with this.
when you first start using your Take It Easy gadget, you're just going to fold the petals in where the writing's on the, the right side up. And then you're going to only ever use it in the same direction. If you bend it back the other, other way, it can um, compromise that fold. So we just want to keep it all going in that way. Okay, so take your fabric, pop it in there, and your paper, put it in there. So you can see kind of where those corners line up with each of your the gaps there. Run glue along there. Now, I like to spin with that still held down and then flick it up just before you're going to push your other one down, which I didn't just do, but I will do again. Sometimes you just need to gently use your thumb to help that especially when you're doing shorter, shorter little folds there. I think I might need a little bit more glue. I think I'm being a bit, a bit light on the glue there. So hold, spin. Spin and one on each side, pushing down. If you like, you can give it a bit of a squish with the template there just to really make sure all of that is all secured. There is. Now for the really hard bit is going to be working out what squares I want to go in between the uh, octagons. So I have didn't have enough papers with the prototype to do all of my octagon shapes, um, but I will get back to that later. So I've got my nice little stack, nothing more satisfying than a nice little stack of prepped, ready to go EPP shapes just something about it you just have to get them all all in line like you're lining up a deck of cards so i've got a variety of linen colors and also a couple of prints and low volumes and also this which i think is a tablecloth which i thought may just work so i am going to audition some of those to see what uh, what it is that I want to put in between um, each of my each of my papers. So I might just start by just laying it out and remembering the squares. I 
think are going to be on, on point for this. So I'm just imagining that even these little parts could be, could actually be fussy cut here using the template to get that, um, that square in there or possibly this square in here as well. So I'll have a little play around by placing some kind of at random around the edge there to see how that how that looks. So you just kind of have to imagine what that's going to look like. After looking at all the different fabrics, my three choices are the print, the blue, and the blush. So I've got the square template. Now, alternatively, you could, if you're not worried about fussy cutting, you could just use a quilter's ruler. But I am going to use this because I want to be testing out this little prototype. I can just shift it up as I'm going along. So if I do about four, that's going to give me a good idea of what, what it's going to look like. Remembering the edges don't have to be absolutely perfect because that tuck it easy gadget is just going to fold it exactly where you need. As I start to lay them out, I see that the decision is going to be a very tricky one because I think they all look great. So I'm just laying the colours out, the pink, the blush and the print squares in between and I'm loving how this is coming together. I think it's a great effect having all of those different prints and bringing them together. I'm really excited about this shape. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you prefer the blue, the blush or the print or a mix of all different ones? Should I just go crazy and add all different colors in there? I'd love to know your thoughts and your ideas and also what you would plan to do with this octagon and square shape. Would you prefer this size or would you go a bigger size? The pre-orders are available on the Cottage Garden Threads website, www.cottagegardenthreads com.au so jump over there and get your pre-order in to be in the first shipment of this brand new tack it easy shape and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can follow along for more videos on stitchy goodness and when i've got other things coming up for the tack it easy thanks for tuning in bye